Hi, we're all a little shut in these days and I just thought it would be fun to maybe show an art exhibit of my own house, some of the paintings we have, um, some of mine and some other people. So behind me is uh, one of my more recent floral paintings. I've really been liking the square format and uh, I've been exploring a lot of roses and colors I, I haven't usually done uh, as much of and really liking the luminosity of that. So there's a few more down here. And then uh, this is an earlier painting where I, one of my first grid paintings. Uh, the grid is a lot finer, but I was really uh, exploring that at the time. And then uh, there's a couple little watercolors there I did in Rome. So those are very different for me too. It was just fun to play around with that. When I was on vacation, I hadn't done too much uh, stuff like that. And then um, this is another uh, of my rose series. And again, the sort of playing with the composition uh, in the square format. It just really seems to change things. And then the uh, pink peonies there. Well, they're actually coral. Uh, that's an, another color range that I haven't done too much of. And then uh, I can see here some of the other things we're lucky enough to own. It. I'm a big fan of Tony Sherman and so we've got a, a still life etching of his. Uh, an Atelka Hussar head. It's a beautiful oil painting. And then lastly, uh, it's one of my uh, film still series of uh, uh, Rear Window with Grace Kelly and, and James Stewart. So that's, that's sort of been my entree into the figure and, and sort of fun to play around with that. So that's just a, a little start of what we have. This is my latest painting behind me. It's really recent. It's still wet. I just finished it this morning. And uh, the subject is some darker magenta peonies. Uh, and I, I'm really interested in the luminosity of different flowers. It really gives you different color ideas. And in this one, I wanted to explore a little more space around the flowers as well. So that's what I was looking at doing. The large work behind me is from my Campo de Fiori series. When we were in Rome this fall, we were right by the flower market and we bought lots of different flowers, which I photographed because uh, there were different sort of uh, roses and things than I, I'm used to seeing here. And then this is an older work, uh, another still life of a purse with a lot of uh, facets on it. I was really uh, thinking of Flemish painting at the time and uh, the kind of detail they put in. And then continuing my retrospective at home here, uh, this plum painting, probably from about 10 years ago when I was exploring uh, the volumes of uh, fruit and then uh, using glass to sort of reflect the image, uh, kind of doubling it up visually. And then uh, moving along, this is a very recent work of, uh, again, the coral peonies, but lit very differently. I think I got a nice sort of top luminosity on them. And then uh, we're lucky enough to have a little Dorothy Knowles watercolor and an abstract work by the Spanish painter Antonio Murado. Uh, so we get to enjoy these in our collection. And then lastly, uh, this is an older painting where I was really exploring uh, the structure of books and almost in a very minimalist uh, geometric way, uh, comparing and contrasting the different textures of uh, various volumes and uh, also certainly evoking the masters in, of the Baroque in, in this sort of study.